how to count Elliot waves on the edge. How to count Elliot waves on the edge. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, traders for Elliot Wave uh, Trading. Our website is www.24elliotwaves.com. The title of the video is uh, How to Count Elliot Waves on the Edge. All right. We are recording this video today because uh, a TSTW trader has asked a specific question about uh, her wave counts. Talking about the US dollar, Canadian dollar currency pair, this uh, trader was counting Elliot Wave and um, has sent me an email asking a specific question about uh, Elliot Wave counts on the edge. All right. So in this tutorial, I want to show traders how to count Elliot waves on the edge. By doing so, I will try to answer the specific questions that the trader has asked me. All right. In fact, this is a personal video for a trader, but we will make it public for everybody so all traders may learn from okay this okay this uh, tutorial. All right. Let's get started. How to count Elliot wave on the edge. First thing first, we want to know the guidelines that we follow when we are counting Elliot Wave. If you do not know the guidelines to count Elliot Wave, you may go around, 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 okay, without achieving anything. So for traders that are new to us, I'll recommend 24AliotWave.com. Click on, okay, Wave Counts Guidelines, okay? So... I want to show traders first how I count my weight, talking about the US dollar, Canadian dollar. I'm on a weekly chart and uh, I want to show you my wave count, okay? So pay attention carefully here. So you can see, you can, or you can agree with me, feel free to disagree with me, that uh, the price went down fast. You see here in this session, it went down in this session. And then we have a consolidation. So I'm going to call it a consolidation session, okay? into green okay so the green channel pay attention carefully this is about wave count guidelines that i'm following here so the prior was oscillating between uh, these uh, two uh, green lines so we have a consolidation in this session and then according to our wave count the first area wave the characteristic of the first area wave is to break resistance and to bring the prior out of a consolidation so this is one guidelines when we are counting area wave consolidation breakout the first breakout of the of the consolidation zone is usually is usually the first area wave so here i see a consolidation following my guidelines of the area wave count i see first area wave from here all the way up here this is the price move that breaks out of the green horizontal channel okay you agree all right so this is my first area wave the second area where we try to retest the top of the consolidation following our guideline or we display a higher low above the consolidation. So my second area wave is the pink line here. Then we will expect the third area wave. There won't be any third area wave if the fundamental are not solid, if the market environment okay, is not a suitable or viable. All right. So market environment was good. We have the third area wave from here all the way up here. That's the orange line here. So this is my third area wave on the weekly chart for the Australian, for the US, US, US card currency pair. Then we have a shallow, the fourth area wave, the characteristic of the fourth area wave, usually very shallow. So we have the fourth wave. In fact, uh, you see here, from here down to this level here. That's the green line here. It's my fourth wave, all right? So, so far, I have first wave, second wave, third area wave, and the fourth area wave. We are now in the fifth area wave, but the fifth area wave is not yet completed, all right? The fifth area wave is an impulsive wave, it's a motive wave, which can be divided into five mono waves. We are having here what I like to call a complex fifth area wave. 
So my fifth area wave has started here. So let's put uh, a spotlight there. My fifth area wave has started at the end of the fourth wave, all right? And it's now going up. So from here, one, two, three, four, five. So we will expect my uh, fifth area wave to end somewhere here. It's not yet completed. So for the USD card, we will expect it to pull back a bit here uh, in the zone of 13018, preferably to go uh, even down to the level of uh, 12857, call it 12860. So we want it to go down up to 13018, even down to 128. Okay, six zero somewhere in that regions. So we are now in the fourth mono wave of my fifth area wave. All right. So if you disagree with my wave count, what I usually say to traders, traders that are following, I already know what I'm going to say. This is my wave count. So you may say to me, George, oh, your wave count is wrong. Okay. But the most important thing when we are counting area wave, we do not want to violate the market patterns. So even if your wave count is wrong, all right, or you made a mistake, all right, if this is your primary wave count, your first wave count, your first attempt to count wave, and you are wrong, first, do not violate the market pattern. There are three market patterns, the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel. Here, I did not violate the market pattern. Even if I'm wrong with my wave count, I can still make, okay, excellent trading decisions, all right? So this is my wave count. First area wave, second area wave, third area wave, fourth area wave. We are now in the fifth area wave. From here, we are expecting it to end somewhere in a zone of 13902. Note it now, 13902. That remains to be seen. So we can't wait. The area wave is not a science. It's not an exact science. It give us guidelines. All right. So if we are wrong, well, what's the problem? But most important thing, don't violate the market pattern and you will be all right. <laughs> okay? All right? So it doesn't mean that what George said is definitely what's going to happen. The market will play as the market will play because there are economy news that can change the market sentiment, the market environment. But looking at the price right now with the information that we have at this point in time, all right, the wave count is dynamic. Okay, it's changing. So with the information that I have at this time, this is my wave count, and I'm expecting the fifth wave to end in a zone of 13902. If the market is doing exactly what I'm expecting, what should I do? We will take advantage of it. So my expectation now at this current time is that the USD card should pull back. So what I will say, priority, talking about my turning side, I will say, I will give priority to bearish signal or bearish chart pattern, bearish area wave corrective waves, all right, because it's a correction. Okay, so bearish corrective waves, I will give priority to those patterns, bearish chart pattern, bearish area wave corrective waves, bearish signal, bearish trading setup in this session. Okay, now some trader may think that just say, sell USD card by all means, go and sell. No, no, no. Look for an opportunity to sell and give priority to sell signal. If there is no sell signal, don't create it, don't force it, okay? Please. All right, so my expectation is that it pull back in the zone of 13018, even up to the zone of 12860. Why? Why, my friend? Why? Now, the most neglected market indicator is the USD yen, okay? So if you have been following us at 244 Rise Trader, you'll know. And also at Joe Trio, I recorded a video this weekend. The title of that video is A Currency Trader Wants to Trade Like George Soro. I highly recommend that video uh, to traders, okay? All right? So I will put it also in the description section. So you may check it out. A Currency Trader Wants to Trade Like George Soro. So the Federal Reserve, the U.S. Federal Reserve. So you may say to me, John, what's the U.S. Federal Reserve? It's a central bank in the United States. And uh, these people can mess up a trade for day trader, swing trader, position trader, and even investors. 
that change of policy can create a, a change in the market environment, a market sentiment, okay, and also everything else that we are doing as a technical traders, okay? So the dollar, the US dollar is too strong. That's why I recommend to you to watch the video that I call a currency trader wants to trade like George Soros, okay? So the Federal Reserve want to put up interest rate, but the US dollar is too high, okay? Therefore, they can't afford to put up interest rate in this climate. Our expectation is that, our deduction from that scenario is that the, the Federal Reserve would like to see the US, the US dollar coming down, coming down a bit, okay? to become a less too strong, okay? So when the US dollar becomes less too strong, they will have enough room to put up interest rate. So what we see to trade a priority to bear a signal for currency pair that are starting with the US dollar. USD yen, USD card, as you can see. So it's normal in this market climate that this expectation is much the market environment so we will uh, we will give priority to sell signal if you receive a sell signal and we will sell if there's no sell signal well the market will do what the market will do and we just wait and see or we will buy instead okay so this is normal so usd yen pulling back it will be nice also for the usd card unless remember there's something else that usually uh a bit challenging for forex trader because sometimes due to hedging activities Currency pair that are meant to go down may go up because of the hedging activity. I don't want to dwell on this one, okay? So I just say it now. All right, so don't be surprised if other traders, are, uh, other market participants are buying this currency pair instead of selling it. Some of them are hedging their positions. All right, so this is my the fourth manner wave of my fifth wave. All right, followed by then if you pull back nicely like this. People will say that a bearish season has begun for the dollar, but then suddenly the Federal Reserve, if it, they have enough room, does the dollar year dollar, the US dollar become a less too strong, now they will come out and put up interest rates. When they put up interest rate, people will start buying the US dollar. So we'll become bullish towards currency pairs that are starting with the US dollar. So that would be great because if you pull back nicely here and then boom, the Federal Reserve came out. In fact, I give some three key levels for traders for the US dollar yen that they must watch. The zone that they must watch when the Federal Reserve is likely, okay, to put up interest rate. So watch that video, okay, that I already mentioned, okay. So if you pull back here, that will be the fourth manner wave of our fifth wave. And if the Federal Reserve put up interest rate, so before you start expecting the fifth wave to begin, watch the next time the Federal Reserve is about to talk about interest rates. So check for rice factory, keep your ears on the ground, so to speak, and uh, see what's happening in the economy news, okay, related to the interest rate in the United States. Federal Reserve put up interest rate, we'll see now the final leg, so to speak, of my fifth earlier wave. You will notice that I'm saying my fifth earlier wave because it is my wave count. So this is my wave count for the USD card. First wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, all right? And then the fifth wave starting from here, expecting it to end here. Does not have to end there, but this is my expectation. So I'm expecting the fifth area wave to be divided into five manner wave because it's an impulsive wave, it's a multi-wave. Now can be divided into five sub wave. First sub wave, second sub wave, third sub wave, fourth expected okay it's not yet completed expected fourth subway and expected fifth subway of my fifth wave this is my wave count now let's move on okay now what I, the exercise that i'm going to do i want to see how i'll be talking to you now i'm talking to you now for 40 minutes we don't want the video to be too long so once i count my wave okay as i said to trader we don't want to count in your wave on a single time frame we must use now when i count the wave on a weekly chart i must go to the monthly chart quarterly chart yearly chart to validate my wave count to see if everything add up nicely i don't want the video to be too long so i won't go into that exercise today all right because i know that okay i've checked it it's okay all right so i won't do it here all right now the next exercise that i'm going to do now is to try to go into the mind of other traders, either earlier wave trader, because I'm not the only one that know how to count earlier wave. And sometimes there is a bit of disagreement when it comes to the wave count. So I want to go into the mind of other traders and see 
try to find out what these traders, some of them may do. Some of them that are not following our wave count guidelines, okay? So I have one example here. I know that some traders, as we have seen for the USD yen, all right, some of them has count their wave like this. They count it from here. Some did count it like this. This is loudly mistake because from here to here, if you look at the internal wave of what I've drawn here, I'm going to color it now into red. If you check the internal wave of that row move, it's not, it's not convincing that this is a multi-wave. This one here, from here to here. Am I talking to myself? Let's zoom into it so we can see clearly, okay? So if I say to my child now, count the wave from here to here. Ask your children to do it. They will say, it goes up from here to here, and then you pull back here. And then pull back, it went up here. So it's a three move. One, two, three. Look at the internal wave. It's not convincing to me that this is a, a, this is a multi wave and this is not an internal wave unless traders are changing the wave principle. So other traders may say, okay, George, okay, we agree with you. We say our first wave from here all the way up here. Okay, then they will say first man of wave, second man of wave, and uh, I don't know. Third man of wave almost uh, equal to the first wave, and uh, the their fourth wave almost into the session of their first man of wave. It's another violation of the wave principle. So I don't know how a trader will call this first wave. Yeah. Okay. So they will say, okay, George, I agree with you. So we say this is the first wave. Maybe. So let's assume that these traders count it like this. Okay. They may be wrong, but. They can count the, some of them. I know they will do something like that. So let's pay attention to what they are trying to do. Okay. So they will say this is their first wave. Okay. And they will say this is their second wave. Okay. Let's call out their wave count into red because it's not my own wave count. I'm just trying to go into the mind of others. So they will say first wave, second wave. Okay. Great stuff. And then they will say, all right. So do not discount what other traders are doing. Don't mock them. Okay. Because they can change, they can mess up trade, and they can do things okay in their own way, and they can win sometimes, okay? The wrong people can be win sometimes, especially if they are powerful. So they may say first wave, second wave, a third wave, and they will call my pink line here as their fourth wave. Okay, I don't want to change the color of my wave count, so I leave it as pink. So they call this a fourth wave, and they are their fifth wave is ending here. Are you with me? Stay with me, please. This is uh, how to count your wave on the edge. So we count our wave count. Now we are going to the mind of other traders. What they, some of them, how they may count their wave because not everybody will count it exactly as we did here. So the next step, apart from validating, validating our own wave count, we can also be a little bit clearer going to the mind of other traders because they are also market participants. They may be wrong, but they can also move the market, okay? So looking at these people, they may say first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave. So this is the end of their fifth wave, all right? You understand? You will see soon why I'm saying this. Then the next thing, they will say, okay, look, George, your fourth wave is divided into three. So we say one, two, three. So they say, ah. Oh, we have counted five waves, and now we see a correction. One, two, three. We are likely to see a flat correction. Here it is. One, two, three. Bringing the price into the zone of 138% Fibonacci extension zone of their, okay, fifth wave. This is, this is their fifth wave. So if I draw Fibonacci extension, you see here of their fifth wave, you can see that the price came, you see 138% of their fifth wave is near the zone of 138%. So going to the mind of these traders, okay, they will say that a flat correction is taking place right now. So you don't want to ignore other traders. <laughs> you do not want to ignore other traders. All right? You don't want to. So they are first wave, first wave, second wave, or maybe they count it from here. Most did count it from here because you see a bearish tripartite price break out and retest here. So they count it first wave. But looking at the internal wave, I'm not very convinced with this one. But let's go with it. So they will say first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and the fifth wave. Their fifth wave has ended here. Okay. 
and then they will see now a flat correction being developed so you don't know about flat correction subscribe to 24 youtube channel everything is free and uh, i do not have any secret when it comes to earlier wave that's why i can share this video with you because a tscw 24 trader tscw sys 008 trader asked me a direct question about uh, her wave count and now we are sharing on public because i do not have any secret when it comes to earlier wave count i will share every tips and trick and magic so to speak all right according to the wave principle to you okay on youtube all right so these traders may say we are having now a flat correction draw you stupid boy all right all right this is to speak okay one two three one two three so the expectation my friend don't discount it as i said to you be humble when it comes to earlier wave they were the expectations to have okay a flat correction so they will expect okay five wave down all right one two three four five down okay talking about the flat correction so if you don't know about the flat correction so my drawing may not be perfect but uh, just think of it that they will expect okay five wave down okay one two three four five the third one a bit longer this is a, a corrective uh, a flat correction one the, the internal wave of the flat correction is three three five okay one two three one two three one two three four five all right okay so they are according to their wave counts okay they may say they will go first wave second wave third wave fourth wave fifth wave all right and a, a flat correction is being developing here and they will expect it to come down now one two three four five down we don't want to ignore these uh, traders all right so but my wave count is this one okay as i show you already okay first wave second wave third wave fourth wave okay we are now in the fifth wave that is we are still expecting it to complete all right one two three four okay five okay going up somewhere here expecting the federal reserve to make decision okay if there is enough room for the dollar and then we will expect it to go up when they put up interest rate the dollar will go back up a bit after it pullbacks okay in this current environment they may not do it so now we see it from my point of view what i'm thinking and from the point of view of other traders we have seen it okay but as i explained to you even if you are wrong okay do not violate the market pattern draw your channels so if you, i don't want i have too many lines already so i don't want to draw my channel now i leave it as it is because we can draw we can join this point and this point and my price is in a rising channel so if the if the price come out of my channel i will not force it all right if they are selling and i receive a sell signal without violating the market pattern i will sell too all right you see now do not violate the market pattern that's the key but you can know earlier your way you can apply in your way but the most important thing do not violate the market pattern and you will be all right okay so we clarify our wave count i follow my guidelines i explain to you also what other traders are looking at now let's go a little bit deeper okay so looking at the first channel look at the first channel i'm going to call i change the color here now into or into green so this is why we talk about multi-talented trading now you see now i titled this video how to count in your wave on the edge we are applying okay the best strategy to validate our okay wave come so you see as the price are going up it was in this green channel are you with me this is the first line of my green channel this is the second line of my green channel if the price is out of a channel talking about market geometry my friend what do we do we project a channel okay so let's see if everything is adding up nicely here uh yeah that's the width of my first channel so price goes above the channel we project the channel okay so this is the first, first target you see how uh, my third area wave almost end on the edge of my projected channel here on the edge the fifth area wave which is my third area wave has also ended somewhere here at the projection of the channel this is about the market pattern so first market pattern was the horizontal channel price goes above we project it okay now the price again above the second projected channel we project our channel again so this is the width, it match here, it match it here, 
let's see here a little bit adjustment needed here that's it and that's where um, my expected fifth wave we expect that's why i'm expecting my, my my fifth wave to end here on the edge of my third uh, my second projected channel. so this is my first projected channel so let's change the color now into green all right and i'm expecting uh, okay as the price out of it we project again my channel bringing us here on the edge you see on the edge always on the edge you trade like a crab okay you like crash a combo the american food crash a combo you know muscles crabs all right so trade on the edge use market pattern rising channel declining channel horizontal channel it does not change on the even on the one minute time frame on the two minute time frame or the three minute time frame, on the hourly chart on the yearly chart on the monthly chart the three market pattern works beautifully you can detect the best oversold overbought best signal on the edge of these three channel the market pattern what you are doing in fact by following the market pattern on every time frame okay is that you are not fighting the market you just say okay i'm don't want to fight the market i don't know better than the market i just want the market to reward me in order for the market to reward me i will not fight the market all right I will be in agreement with the market and I will flow with the market, all right, like a surfer, okay? So here we are. So you see now, so the, my market pattern, I do not violate the market pattern and everything is aligning nicely for me. But if you come below this channel here, you see my second channel, you see this is my second channel. Talking about the other trader, you see their wave count, they're expecting the fifth, uh, their fifth wave has ended here and they're expecting five move down. Suppose they were right and I'm wrong, okay? But I, because I am a trader, that I'm not violating the market pattern. So the price will come out of uh, the last uh, channel here, and the price will gently try to retest, uh, okay, the last channel here. And uh, that will form, if uh, we receive a sell signal here, I will sell two. So when they are selling down, forming their one, two, three, I will sell here. But all I'm doing, I'm not violating the market pattern. I'm just flowing with the price. You see now? So, if they were right, I will still get paid. If I'm right, I will still get paid. But somebody who is violating the market will can get into trouble. So you stick to it and say, I say to you, the price must go here. It must go there. It does not have to, okay? So we don't want traders to get into that mindset. And uh, sometimes traders can be a little bit too confident. And we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Okay, if you are too confident, that's where people get into trouble. You don't want to be too confident. Always, okay, gently, gently, okay. So here we are. So this is, these are the projections using market geometry. We can navigate through this market as it's pulling back. Watch this zone in the zone of 13018, expectation to find support if, repeat, if the Federal Reserve put up interest rate. All right. If the Federal Reserve put up interest rate, all right, in normal conditions, that's what we are expecting. Okay, it makes sense. All right. Okay. So now let's go back. Now remember, we are not trading. Okay, we are not trading uh, anything else except the price. All right. So whatever we are doing, we must keep our eyes on the price itself, the number one indicator. I want to show you how that is so important, okay? So we are using Angel Way, don't ignore the horizontal support and resistance level, the key levels that the professional are watching. The first key level that I want trader to remember is uh, the high of 2008, because it's so important. You see on any chart, on the yearly chart, highlight like the high, the low, and the media line of 2008, because it's a very, very important year in the financial market, 2008, 2008. Please don't forget, all right? <laughs> okay, all right. So the high of 2008 for the USD card is at 101318. That's the red line here, all right? So that key level, if you are trading this currency pair, you must not forget it, okay? 13018, that's the high of 2008. Another key level that I want trader to remember 
is uh, the opening price of uh, 2008 is 10153 is the orange line here so the price will not the price is too far away from it but all i want you to do just uh, remember that that level also is so important but the price is is not relevant at this point in time but just remember that the opening price is also here at 10153 but right now it's not uh, okay urgent for us to pay attention to this level but be aware of it the level that is urgent for us now is the high of 2008 it's a 13018 all right it's a key levels okay key level that's why we are expecting to pull back into that zone 13018 up to 12860 at my uh, fourth wave all right the next key level that i want to share with today is uh, another long-term equilibrium price level. I will not talk about it too long. It's a 12508. 12508. Watch this pink line here. All right? Pink line. 12508. Note it down. Have a notebook. This key level, 13018. 12508. If you are trading this currency pair, as you can see on the yearly chart, the price went above the high of 2008 and also the high of uh, 2009. All right? Now, you can see that the bearish season, when the Federal Reserve starts uh, uh, printing the dollar, devaluing the U.S. dollar, the U.S.D. car, like the U.S.D. yen, were bearish. They both were going down at the same time. Then the Federal Reserve changed their policy around 2012, and these, uh, the U.S.D. car and the U.S.D. yen, okay, start going up, okay? Now, the dollar, the U.S. dollar is too strong, and the Federal Reserve is just waiting for the dollar to become a little bit cheaper, so they can put up interest rate. This is the junction where we are now. It makes sense? So I will not go into the details of uh, what the trader sent to me. I think uh, this video answer most of the questions that the trader was asking me because the trader sent to me her wave count. All I say to traders, your wave count is your wave count. The most important thing, okay, do not, okay, violate the market patterns, whatever you are doing. Yes, some trader may think that there is a flat correction taking place here, but do not ignore that the price has a high chance to go to 13990. In the medium term, okay, now let's answer the question. In the medium term, this currency per USD card has a high chance to go down. Yes, you are right to look for a bearish area wave pattern. So if you see any bearish area wave pattern, uh, hourly chart, daily chart, give priority to sell signal in the medium term, all right? But do not violate the market pattern, all right? So if you are counting area wave on the hourly chart or daily chart, we want to go a little bit deeper like I did now, okay, on a higher time frame to see the bigger picture because sometimes you may look at the short term trend. Let me show you something about a little bit that can clarify at that point. So suppose on a week on a on a weekly chart, okay, the market pattern is rising, okay. All right. But the price the market pattern is rising, which means it's bullish, okay. Priority to bullish signal, okay. But the price was pulling back within that uh, rising channel. The market pattern is certainly bullish, but the price is pulling back. Okay, somebody who is on the four-hour chart will see a declining channel. If he or she is using the four-hour chart as uh, the setup time frame without bordering to go to the higher time frame, he or she will think that George, the market pattern is bearish. But he is only, he or she is only looking at the medium term, talking about weekly chart as a long term and four hour chart as a medium term. He is looking at the medium term. Though the long term trend is bullish, the medium term may be bearish. If one is looking at one single time frame, if one is counting area away on one time frame and sticking to it alone, one can be quickly wrong. Because as the medium term, start aligning with the long-term trend, the market will change direction again. But then you will say to me, what about the short-term trend? Again, here we are. So we are calling a weekly chart as our long-term trend and a four-hour chart as a medium-term. 
Again, on the short term term, the price is oscillating within that channel, okay? So the medium term is bearish, and the long term term, the long -term term trend is bullish. So suppose you're on a, okay, say 50 minute chart, and the price was rallying up in that chart, in this medium term trend. On your 50 minute chart, you will see that it's going up, okay? So you may maybe think this is a correction taking place, in a downtrend, I mean, no, in fact, the whole move down on the four hour chart is a correction because, in fact, the trend is going up, okay? But then again, you see this move on your 50 minute chart, which is the short term trend. You say the market is bullish, the market pattern is bullish. But if you stop on the 50 minute chart, you don't know what's going on as such because you're only looking on the 50 minute chart, you think it's going up only. But here it is on the four hour chart, somebody in the four hour chart know that, okay, it's going down. And he is looking for opportunity to sell you somewhere here when you are trying to buy, okay? And again, somebody that is on the four hour chart, that stop on the four hour chart alone, that is uh, only selling, somebody here is waiting for him to buy here. So that's why we say to traders, the validation of the wave count or using a multiple time trading button is so important. I will be recording another video when I will explain to traders the long-term trend, the medium-term trend, and the short-term trend trend, and also expose once and for all the, the, the top-down trading method and the multiple-time frame trading method. I will also put a link in the description section uh, about the video that I titled What is a Multiple-Time Frame Trading Method? But I will record another video when I will go a little bit deeper about the long-term trend, trend, medium-term trend, and the short-term trend trend. It apply also for the wave count. We count the area wave as you see now on the uh, weekly chart. I use the weekly chart uh, here to show you the example. Now, if we stop on a weekly chart alone, we can quickly okay make some mistakes. Now, if we go to the hour to the uh, now to the yearly chart, we want to see whether it makes sense what we are talking about on a weekly chart. Does it make sense? Does it add up? Or is there a bigger pattern on a bigger cycle or a wave of a higher degree that's developing here? Probably, yes. Uh, our maybe our my wave count up to the fifth wave here is only uh, the first wave on a yearly chart of a bigger wave cycle. All right. To avoid that the video is too long, Joyce, thank you for asking. Uh, okay, a specific question. And in fact, I get a little bit too excited when I see TST traders using the wave principle. All right, I, I, will, I, will not, I will leave it to you because I like the way you are counting your wave and I, want, I don't want to disturb your wave count. I'll show you my wave count. I'll show you what other traders also are looking at. We discuss other things and I know that you can handle it, okay? But if you have another question, please do not hesitate, okay, to contact me. As always, okay, it is a pleasure, okay, talking to you. This is about uh, how to count area waves on the edge. In this tutorial, we have counted a uh, five area wave for the USD card currency pair on the weekly charts, all right? We have also looked at what other area wave practitioners, area wave technicians are looking at, how they may count their wave. We have noticed that my third wave correspond to some other trade a fifth wave and they will expect okay a flat correction at this uh, junction i disagree with these traders and we will see okay whether the market uh, will validate my wave count or their wave count but the bottom line there's there may be a disagreement on the wave count or for joyce your wave count may be different from my wave count but the most important thing we don't want to violate the three market pattern and with that we will make excellent decision whether our wave count is uh, in agreement or not. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, make sure you give us the thumbs down. All right. If you love it, feel free to share it. Okay, on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you love our videos about area wave, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the description section. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to count area waves on the edge. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders. Speak to you soon now.